left for church, heard the sermon, checked out the new sanctuary. Um, Josh, unfortunately, has uh, some obligations. I think he said it's his grandparents' like 69th or 79th wedding anniversary, which is super crazy. Um, I mean, talk about glory to God for that one. That is just, I haven't heard of anyone that long before that are still alive. So that's pretty cool. But uh, going out, it just poured rain. It stopped about half an hour ago or so. Um, still quiet. It's cooler out. Um, the last time I had pictures of them at the middle of the day at the camera was when it was cooler. So um, hopefully, I mean, I'm going to go out for just a few hours, probably till about 4, 4.30. Uh, that's the latest I've had them. It's about 1.10, 1.15 right now. So um, hopefully we get into them and they come in and uh, have a little bit of a different game plan. I uh, Just from that poll on our Instagram story, walk around, sit. I'm going to go sit for a little bit, uh, kind of feel out the situation, see if other people are in here or not. Um, and then I might walk down and around from the draw that we think they're coming out of and um, do a little bit of cow calling. We haven't been calling very much, so uh, see if that does any different for us or not but uh otherwise i'm gonna wait till next weekend and hit it hard again saturday and sunday so wish me luck and uh hopefully i'm reporting back to finish this video with a uh, elk harvest so here we go So right here in the center of the screen where the trees get thick um, is where the game camera was where I've been getting pictures for about a month or so and as I came up to this after church on Sunday um, of opening weekend for uh, archery elk here in Washington I heard uh, some sounds so I got all jacked up and I sat back for a second pulled up my binoculars and quickly realized that it was a bear and on Saturday, the day before when we had packed up and left for a little bit, we ran into two older guys and they had told us how they were farther up the hill and they'd been getting elk pictures and um, they were talking about how they had a picture of a sow and a cub. At this point, I'm just thinking bear. Um, I didn't see two of them. There was just a little bit of sound I could hear the bear flipping the deer block and just you know making a little noise. You, you can't hear it here in the video here. Um, or really see the bear at all. There's one part farther ahead where you get a little glimpse, but it's for the end of this video that I really wanted uh, to post this up anyways, um, show a little bit of the stock on there, and uh, but more, uh, really want you to answer the question at all, and if you haven't yet, if you could just subscribe to our channel and like it, and make sure to comment and engage. It just helps uh, boost our videos and helps us connect with other people uh, and lately in these vlogs, I'm just asking questions for people uh, to comment so that they can share their knowledge and information. Um, because I feel like then, you know, our big purpose is to learn, grow, and share about the outdoors and about Christ. And um, in each one of the vlogs and out adventures that we have, um, you know, the main thing is to learn something from that time. And so in this one, I just got a question about you know bear stalking a bear but anyways so I realized there was a bear here I started walking in on him uh, so laid down took off my pack went with just my bow made sure to throw my pistol and the holster on my belt um, took off everything and that's a whole nother challenge trying to unbuckle backpacks and take them off without making noise so um, there's one little trail it's pretty thick but I uh, dropped onto an elk tra trail and that's where I am right now and I'm just taking my time and just steadily moving forward. Um, I mean, the whole thing was roughly five, 10 minutes or so. It seemed like an eternity. And um, 
I've never, I mean, I, my bear I shot earlier this year, which there'll be a link at the end of the video, of this video to it is, um, I mean, we saw it and I ran up the hill to close the gap, found it and shot it, but I've never really truly like spotted an animal and really put on a stock Necess I mean like with the, my recurve and stuff like that, but the little different situations, but this one was I'm coming in and there was an animal I had no idea it was there I was you know out in the wilderness and and it took me a second to decide to go after a bear uh, with my bow especially a compound it's not really like you can just fling it on and um, fling them out there so I took my time and right here this is the main trail where my camera is right when the trees get thick and the bear you can't tell but it's right there we're bright at about 20 yards away um, and I'm about to step up on the trail and send an arrow down range and I quickly see learn that there is a cub with it and then I realize oh no <laughs> I'm within 20 yards of this bear and it's a sow with a cub um, and later it ends up working out great that I didn't get in on her and fling an arrow because there was bait there and that's illegal here in Washington so Yep, that's the little stock. Sorry, you don't really get much of the bear, but make sure to finish watching to the end and answer the uh, question in the comments because it's just going to be, I feel like, really helpful for other people to learn and grow and share about, you know, bear hunting and bows. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Looked like a decent bear. Looked a little chocolatey, so I'll be curious to see what the cam camera shows. But oh, shit. it was facing away. Oh man, I don't think I've ever stalked a bear before. Oh. Wow, but <clears throat> walked in facing away. Z and you can hear it. Wonder if the camera picked it up gurgling a little. And uh, looked once or twice my way, but had no idea it was there. Wind was in my favor. Oh man, that was crazy. I was about to pop out a new section that I could potentially make a, a shot. Bear moved down a little bit. And as I came in, then I saw a second one move, and I remember talking to the old guys yesterday, and they said they had a sow and a cub on their camera, and sure enough, looked at the face, looked like a like white nose, and it looked brown, and uh, sure enough, there was a little cub with it, so they started walking away, and I, I just backed off because uh, I was probably within 20 yards of that thing. That was crazy. I thought I was going to shoot my first bear with, or my first bear bow bear with a bow but uh too close for comfort for the sow and a cub so i thought it was an elk coming up i was so jacked and then when i thought it was a, saw it was a bear i was just really jacked so but no go successful stock i mean really a couple more steps and i could have pulled off a shot but whoa that was crazy is anyone else I'd be curious does anyone else um, stalked in on a bear before comment below let us know that experience because my heart as soon as I knew for sure it was a bear and it did not know I was there I was my heart was pumping so comment below if your experience I can't imagine getting close to a bear and anyone staying calm but what was going through your head I was just trying to tell myself don't want to miss don't want to miss clean ethical shot clean ethical shot so comment what you your experiences and I don't know what to do next because I was going to kind of go through the small tree line and down where I think the, uh, the elk are coming from but uh, I'm not going to be doing it this go around so wow that was crazy they still haven't run off so I'm just being a little eerie but I don't know wait sit my wind's blowing down I thought I would try to cook 
background come up to draw for the elk, but I feel like it's kind of a blown hunt at this time. I guess maybe I can try to get some footage of the bear, but it might be a little nerve wracking to get close to a sound come, but we'll see. Here we go. What's up, guys? Um, so just got done with day number two we got plenty of light left but i'm gonna get home we got some dinner plans i got some chores i need to get done before the week starts um but if you haven't yet please subscribe um to our channel uh that keeps you most current and up to date on what we got going on the adventures that we're on there should be a bell at the top go ahead and click that and then you'll be notified every time a video gets uploaded uh, make sure to like comment share um just helps get more people engaged so that they can learn grow and share um, their information and knowledge about different hunting tactics and what they're doing.